Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So I'm right now I'm sitting with the, well, this is the Epiphone 100 and here's the headstock from it. Ain't it pretty? Yeah, this was was wrong with this guitar when I bought it and I got it real, real cheap. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to cut this off, kind of flatten it out to where this will possibly stand up, maybe making a bracket on the back of it. So this will stand up and just use it as some type of a decoration or whatever. There's nothing fancy about the tuners but the headstock is like like in mint shape all i have to do is polish it up a little bit and it kind of looks really nice still has the plastic over the truss rod cover so i figured well why not i can use it for just you know some type of a decoration or whatever anyways here is the body and what i've done already is i filled the three holes for the extra volume and the two tones i filled the holes that were for the um pick guard that was on here so this is going to have a three-way switch and in one volume that's it and i'm not sure what type of pickups i'm going to put in here yet but this is going to get sprayed black silver and candy green so i got it all sanded down really nice nice and flat no waviness no nothing that's what i kind of like about using my rotary sander and I got a pad on here for doing tops like this, which works out really good. For flat, I remove the pad and then go with the sandpaper on, a, on the flat surface. Sanded it down with 320, uh, closest thing I have to 400. And being a rotary sander, you don't get the scratches that you would from like 400 grit sandpaper or using 320 grit sandpaper when you are sanding a surface down by hand, leaving, you know, scratch marks going in the direction that you are sanding so this is nice and smooth and it's ready to be painted right now i have the kramer outside and that is basically went from air conditioning to uh you know outside temperature which is a lot warmer than the air conditioning that has to sit outside for at least an hour before i seal in what I've done to it, which is basically just sanded all the black off of it, but I have to put a seal coat over that, which is going to be the clear. And what that's going to do is going to allow me to uh, paint over the clear. And if I make any mistakes, well, it'll be easy to sand off without going through whatever is sealing in the dollar bills and then damaging the dollar bills that are underneath it. So that's working out. But right now I'm going to get into couple of things that I was doing uh, or been doing for the past few months trying to find a set of Bluetooth headphones that are worth the shit so let's get into that so right here you see two sets of basically what they are are earbud headphones that are Bluetooth and this one right here I, they're basically no named okay there's really no name on these guys to really identify them uh, as anything they sell them on either eBay or you can get them on Amazon I would say get them on Amazon if you want them a little bit quicker and they're not bad okay but they're not great either the frequency response of these things are um, decent but again you know I like sound quality I like to be able to listen to my music without having any added unless I edit myself as far as equalization or anything else to change the tone of the music basically what I'm looking for is more of a flat response than anything else when you add some type of equalization to you know it's either because you're missing something as far as uh, highs lows mids or you want to back down your highs lows mids and adding and subtracting those frequencies really makes a big difference on the headphones that you're using because of how they react with those frequencies some headphones will be like if you just turn it up like a little bit on the mid side uh, like 1 dB on the mid side it actually changes a lot and really sounds like ass okay so that's the problem where I'm having with these guys here. These aren't bad. It comes with a case that is basically your charger. And they respond right away. They sound pretty good. And as you can see, it has a meter here of how much battery life is in this. And it tells you how much is going, how much of these guys are charged as well. So if I go ahead and move this one here, reset it back on the base. It should show up on this side and that it's being charged 
the only problem with these things is that um, they cut out too much. If you're linking these up to your your uh, phone with the Bluetooth and you're listening to music, they tend to either interference gets in the way or uh, something's going on to where they cut out and they stop working for, it could be up to like a minute and a half or so I timed it and that was it. These ones here are another set that I picked up on eBay, I believe it was. No, these were on Alpha Amazon. And I read what the uh, reviews said about these, and the reviews weren't bad. I mean, they were really, really good. Some guys said that, oh, for sound quality and everything else, they, they sound great and everything else. Now you can see these go around your ear. And they're really not adjustable as far as bending these go. It's plastic or kind of like a rubberized plastic. And when you put them back in the base, it'll start basically the same thing. It charges itself. This is at 100% as far as the, the base having charge. And then it shows you left and right uh, as far as how much charge that your head, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, have. And again, you know, another see-through window where you can see what's going on. The only problem with these things are is they are not very good sound quality at all. They tend to, um, your mids tend to be really really strong on these your bass is really strong on these and depending on the type of music that you like like some of the older 80s style music uh, rock and shit like that really didn't have that much bass to it so these kind of add that bass to it but it's false it's not real it's not the exact what the music is supposed to sound like and the highs are decent on these, but a lot of them, the highs are decent. It's just the mids and the lows that I don't care for. And another thing, too, is fitting these in your ear because of the angle of the actual earbud itself doesn't quite match up with everybody's ear, okay? And they don't match up with mine. So I ended up going another route, and I ordered something else. All right, so these are a wired wireless combo pack, Bluetooth. Um, I need my glasses so I can see this. And they are supposed to be more of a monitor than anything else. Universal fit noise isolating musicians in ear monitors. Okay, so these are supposed to be more of a in-ear monitor than a just an earbud these are a little bit more expensive so you're going to end up compared to paying say you know maybe 15 20 dollars for this maybe 15 to 30 dollars for this compared to you know 70 to 90 dollars for this so i'm going to go ahead and open it it does have a seal on this Pretty well packaged, I gotta say. It is hat does have stick-on tabs all over the place on this thing. So, all right, all right. So here we are. Comes in a nice, very nice case. Cloth. It's not cloth. Uh, it is a cloth case, but it has got a kind of like a hard shell. All right. So here are your buds. Should I say monitors? Here is the Bluetooth portion of it. Now these do go around your ear, but they are very, very flexible. They are plug-ins. And basically you have your charging right here, which is, it's not USB-C. It's not USB-C. Uh, where the button's at. So you got plus and minus as far as volume and you got a W on here which is um, it does have like a built-in EQ to change settings on them. Nice little pad right here. And they are locked in by these little tabs.
Now these are if you want to plug them in to something like my phone does not have a plug in it for a uh, for listening but and these are really small they are see-through you can actually see the inside of them you could unplug these actually the plugs are really tight yeah these are nice the plugs are really really tight inside there uh, this way you're not going to uh, lose them so to say they come with extra earbuds number one USB charger bigger jack extra ear inserts in black and you have a lot of extra wow they give you a lot of these usually they give you two of one two of another these also have the ones that are uh, three tiered they fit in your ear a little bit deeper and they kind of noise cancel a lot better so that that's these guys here and uh, I will be doing a see the angle of this is not as steep as the angle of these guys here that's kind of nice so yeah that's it so this is the M was it the M6 M6 Pros by MEE and it gives you all kinds of information here you know you have your Bible which is like a poster style um, okay so the M is a hold recall during incoming calls so you can use this I guess for calling or hold two seconds mute microphone um, during phone calls uh, volume up tap next track so yeah, the M is a power on, play pause during playback, answer incoming calls or reject them, and a redial, active S Siri, voice command, power off. All right. So these are supposed to be more closer to being uh, more accurate as far as sound quality goes. And again, they are a monitor instead of being a just an earbud. So I'm going to see how they work, and if they work the way that uh, I think they are going to work, then I shouldn't have no problems doing some shit outside and uh, listen to music at the same time. So, here on a, another hand, the alternative to cigarette smoking. Yes. So I end up going with, because even my doctor even said too, it's like, you know, do you vape? And I'm like, well, I have in the past, but it really hasn't been the same as smoking. You know, it's totally different. And a lot of these, uh, as far as the amount of nicotine, some of them are a little bit too much or some are a little bit weak. And the weaker you are, the more you're vaping. The stronger they are, the less you're vaping, but you also feel the extra uh, nicotine in them. So I picked up this, and this is a blueberry watermelon. Yeah, so I'm sucking on fruit. It actually is pretty good with the flavor, and um, I'm not using it as much as I normally would as far as smoking. And my doctor was like, okay, well, you know, even though vaping isn't all that great either, it's better than smoking. And which he's right in a way, you have more chemicals in smoking than you do in vaping, but vaping still isn't. These were never meant to be a uh, kind of like a big theme that they are now. Okay, they were meant to help people to quit smoking and get off of the cigarettes. But these weren't a permanent fix either. They were supposed to start using this to kind of break the habit of the cigarettes and then, then drop this. But a lot of people are using this as the crutch instead of using cigarettes. And I can kind of see why with the flavors and everything else that they have. I can even see why the kids are even in, into these too. Uh, now this one here is the only one that I could find that lets you draw off of it, like if you're drawing off of a cigarette. And 
inhale after you draw instead of a lot of the vaping things where you have to inhale at the same time that you're drawing off of this and it's got a little led on there to let you know that you're being used it's got a hole on the back so you're sucking in air as well as the chemical that's inside this but it's not bad it actually is helping with the quitting of the smoking so yeah that's my story i'm sticking to it i want to get outside it should be uh pretty good now to start clear coating and sealing in those dollar bills on that uh kramer and you guys take it easy have a good one